We do now have uh, the mayor, Mayor Todd Gattel, uh, the mayor of Rowlett, Texas, who's joining us. We're talking about uh, a, a city there that has just been absolutely devastated. Thank you for being with me, sir. Poppy, thank you for having me on the program. What, I know you were just moments ago out with the authorities uh, going through the devastation. It, it, as I've said, the pictures never tell the full story. There is the heartbreak. There's the loss of life. What can you tell us about how extensive the damage is and any loss of life in your community? Well, you're absolutely right. The pictures do not tell the story. The, the, it is just mass devastation. Uh, the, the tornado actually moved uh, south, southeast to northeast uh, at, over, over a period of uh, roughly a, probably about a half mile to, wide all the way to about two miles long. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it just caused significant damage in a lot of areas. Everything from on the on the fringes to a few roof shingles to the closer you got to the center of the path, complete devastation where the homes are completely obliterated. And I know that your home, you've said, was right in the eye, right in the path. It was frankly supposed to be struck, and you're calling it miraculous that it wasn't. Well, we were very very fortunate. It actually took a turn. I you know based on what they had told us, it looked like it was right in the path, and then sort of toward the last minute, it, it took a turn and, and moved. This was not a complete straight line. It moved back and forth, and we were very, 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 very fortunate, but many in our community were not. Absolutely. I know that the, the governor there of Texas has declared a state of disaster for four counties. Uh, obviously, that impacts the kind of aid you're going to get. Are you getting what you need? I mean, so many people watching, looking at these pictures, say, what can we do? Yeah, Poppy, first and foremost, we are absolutely getting the help that we need. Uh, we are doing everything that we can right now with the tools that we have. Uh, we're, we're still, we've just basically completed the search and rescue phase. We've done this three times. We wanted to make sure that every citizen was accounted for. Uh, secondly, we wanted to make sure uh, that we did some type of damage assessment. We are just about through with the damage assessment. And our numbers from earlier have actually gone up. But we have 446 homes so far with two areas still to survey. Um, one, and 100, 101 of those homes has been completely destroyed. So there, there's some really widespread uh, just damage. And again, uh, you know, we're just asking for everyone's thoughts and prayers. And if, if, uh, if folks are interested in donating, because a lot, a lot of volunteers have come forward and said, what can we do? We're not ready for volunteers at this point. We're still, again, our, our EMS teams are, are out and about, along with CERT and other groups. But we would uh, definitely appreciate uh, any donations to the Red Cross and, uh, and just keep us in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, we absolutely will. Mayor Todd Gattel, I'll let you get back to it. I know you have hours and hours and days and days of work ahead of you. Thank you very much. And for all of you watching, as you heard the mayor say they're not ready for volunteers yet, but if you'd like to donate, go to CNN.com slash impact. There is a list there of ways that you can donate and help the people there of Rowlett and Garland, Texas. We'll be right back.